welcome back to the channel, I'm Beasted and today we're going to be taking a look at a drift setup for the Nissan GTR safety car. This one can be a little bit tricky to get along with, it acts more like a rear wheel drive car at times than it does a four wheel drive car. That being said, when you do tame it, it can be a lot of fun. I've noticed in other people's comment sections on their videos that a lot of you are enjoying the GTR as a drift car, um, so if you haven't had a go with it yet, maybe now's the time. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got content coming out most weeks now. Use the comment section below to let me know what you think of this drift setup and if there's any other videos you'd like to see me make in the future. And hit that like button, it makes me very happy when you do. So let's take a look at the settings. With the GTR, I haven't actually had to do a great deal, certainly from a mileage points um, point of view. Um, don't actually need to spend any whatsoever. All we're doing is uh, using the standard level there, but maxing it all the way up to 115, giving you 648 brake horsepower. Uh, with the weight reduction, again, I've just left that exactly as it was, but moved it all the way down to 97. Um, no mileage points required there either. The traction control is set to zero. Um, with this one, I've got comfort softs on the front, uh, comfort hard on the rear. Um, brake balance is set to zero as it was previously. Ride height, um, 85 both front and rear there. Um, the frequency is 2.2 front and rear. With the anti-roll bar, I've actually got this one set to three on the front and seven on the rear. You may want to adjust this slightly for yourself because it can be a little bit tail happy and that's probably what's causing it, uh, but it works all right for me. Um, the compression rate there is 55 front and rear, 85 front and rear on the rebound. Uh, camber angle is set to 1.4 on the front, 1.3 on the rear. Um, the toe angle is out by 0.19 on the front, in by 0.09 on the rear. Um, the differential there uh, is set on the front to 555. I think that's how it came from memory. And then you've got 10, 30 and 15 on the rear. Um, and the gearing I've left exactly as it is. And that should be everything you need. I hope you enjoyed the setup. I'll leave you with some more skids now. And I'll see you on the next one.